YouTube. This is Rebecca the Diva coming at you with another video. But before I get into this video, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Why don't you go right on ahead and join the fam. Hit that subscribe button. And when you do so, hit the notification bell and select all. So every time I upload, hopefully YouTube is not bugging the trip and the bugging, you'll get notified. Hit the share button and share his Karen. There are no secrets over here on this channel. That's right, girl. We tell everything. Do me the biggest favor in the whole wide world. And hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down in the comment section, good or bad. But please don't be negative because I will be petty. And for everybody else, welcome back, Diva Gang. Hey, guys. Um, I'm sorry I'm a little bit all over the place and inconsistent with my uploads. I'm literally just going crazy here because the store is doing awesome. And shameless plug here, for those of you who are new, I am the owner of an online beauty boutique, fearlessdiva20.com. I will link my website in the description box as well as a coupon code. And we have free shipping for all of our United States customers. So go right on ahead and check me out. We have lip gloss, we have eyelashes, we have human hair wigs, bundles, closures. Um, you name it, we probably have it. So just check me out. And I will appreciate that. Um, guys, I have been like all over the place. Um, my daughter had to come here unexpectedly. Because you know how young adult children are. They're quick to show you their ass. And give it to you to kiss. But then when they need help, you're the first one that they're crying to for help. So, I've been helping out with my granddaughter while she's trying to work. Save money. You know, because she'll be moving into her own place soon so she needs to get all the hours in that she can to work so i've been watching my granddaughter I, so if you hear her if you hear her um <laughs> her mom ran to the store real quick so we have a guest in the background um that and the store has been busy like extremely busy thank god for that because i need every dime um school i have three online classes and i'm trying to keep up with their easy classes so pretty much i'm keeping up with everything um and just overall trying to take care of myself and you know have somewhat of a social life but other than that i have been great um just a disclaimer this is a reaction video so if you're going to get in your feelings or you're going to be negative, you can just click off the video because your view is so totally not needed. So we're going to give you a second to do that. Okay, now that all the negative Nancys are gone. Um, what I wanted to talk about was my jazzy life. Like she uploaded a video the other day talking about um, taking her channel down. And she's referring to all the... Um, videos and I guess you can call them reaction channels that have come out the will work and they've pieced together all of her effed up moments of her and how she mothers and parents and treats her children and she had said oh if my channel gets taken to that taken down what are my children gonna eat where are they gonna live well first of all sweetheart YouTube is not a guaranteed job. It's not guaranteed money. So why in the world would you just sit back and solely depend on YouTube as your income? Like, that doesn't make any sense because just, I mean, Google owns YouTube. So Google is a, a business just like anybody else. And the moment they want to say, oh, well, you know what, we're not going to pay anybody anymore. They can do that. And there's nothing that anybody can do about that. And it's like, you claim that, oh, YouTube is your job, YouTube is your income, so you don't have a safety net, you don't have a little small backup, you know, bank account with some money stashed in it, you know. You, I'm for sure, you're um, getting tax returns back and all these stimulus checks that's being issued out. The president just signed the $1,400 stimulus the 1.9 trillion dollar bill that just got signed like hours about an hour or so ago so i mean that's 1400 dollars per person so that's you and five, four children like girl bye you need to um come up with a better plan than what are my kids gonna do what what you can do is go get a job how about that 
you so-called got a degree, put your degree to work. And stop with the damn excuses. Because that's all you are is excuse after excuse after excuse. And people are supposed to feel sorry for you. You got more excuses than Nick going to jail at this point. Like, come on, sis. Like, nobody feels sorry for you when people are getting tired of your BS. Like, grow up and woman up. Level up. Take care of your family and stop depending on everybody else to do it. You lay down with a deadbeat bum and had all four of them kids. And my whole thing is when you got pregnant from watching your older videos, when you were pregnant with Kaylin, Philip was locked up. So after then, I would have never, ever, ever had any more children by somebody who has the potential to always get backwards and forwards locked up in jail and prison. Like, come on. And the multiple baby mamas that he has already with children that are way older than Kaylin, like, girl, bye. He can't do nothing for you. And that's obvious by him doing this long prison stint. You need to take care of your kids and stop worrying about, oh, well, this happened and that happened and what are my kids going to do? Where are they going to live? <coughs> all you do is play the victim. That's all you do. Oh, woe is me. My poor, my jazzy like girl, bye. Like, it's disgusting to see a black woman, and I'm sorry I'm, I'm making it a race thing, but I'm just being real about it. To see a black woman cop out. Because that's all you doing. You copping out. Like girl. For your one issue or two issues that you have. There's another woman that's out there somewhere in the world. And she going through three, four, five different issues. Way worse than what you could ever deal with. But that woman probably gets up every morning. And breaks her neck to go to work. And to take care of her children. Like a real woman is supposed to do. You don't sit back and wait for handouts. Like, girl, bye. I mean, it just pisses me off that women like her, are just, they basically use the system and they expect people to take care of them. And it's like, I personally feel Jasmine was not as bad as she was until she and Strong Mommy Chrissy became friends. Once her and Strong Mommy Chrissy had became friends, Jasmine totally changed. She's a totally different person. If you watch her 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 channel from a couple of years ago and watch now, you're looking like like who is this woman? Like she's a totally different woman. And it's sad. But that's all I had to say. I had to just and y'all know me, I had to add my two and a half cent worth in because for her to get on her channel and say, oh, why would you guys do that? What are my kids going to eat? Where are they going to live? That's like play, playing on the heartstrings of people. And I bet you anything, people probably just sent her cash apps and everything else behind that one video. Like, girl, please, if you know that you're doing everything to the best of your ability, then don't worry about people taking your channel down. But it's obvious that you're doing something wrong and it's eating up your conscience for you to get on and even mention a video like that and it's another channel that came out it's a new channel i can't remember the, the name of it but this person so-called said that they um they're they're in texas and they so-called have family members that are i guess connected with the system and um <laughs> The way it's being said is that her food stamps were never cut off. She playing people for the food. But what do I know? I'm just a grungy girl from Brooklyn. Until next time, guys. Bye.